All four of us grew up on Disney, and um, I think it's such a timeless, incredible opportunity to be a part of. And then on top of it, Wreck-It Ralph was an incredible film that we all loved. And it's such a fun universe to be like creating music for, and you know, to to be like providing a soundtrack to in a certain way. It's like it it's a fun environment to be able to create for. It's sort of you know outside of yourself a little bit. Also, the emotion captured in the film, I think kind of reached out to all of us and we all um, related to it in a way that it felt very natural to be able to write a, a song for it. The song is called Zero um, and I think the title is pretty self-explanatory in a lot of ways. Um, just from a lyrical standpoint, um, it personifies someone that um, probably all four of us identify with to some degree. Uh, that is also really identified by Ralph in the film, which is feeling a little bit like a loner and an outsider at times, and kind of learning to navigate what that means and how that feels and the emotions that come along with that and the self-doubt. Um, and there's a certain beauty to that. Just lyrically, um, the song... I think Platzman put it in a way that's perfect, which is it's very manic. Um, and I think that comes very naturally for me as a lyricist because I am a little manic. <laughs> and so Ralph definitely embodies that kind of explosiveness and it's moving and it feels like it's going to wreck at any moment and it's just rumbling, tumbling along. And, and um, so yeah, Zero kind of had, it's probably the most up-tempo song I think we've ever written to date, right? Fastest tempo. Yeah. yeah. Only for Disney. We actually got taken to the headquarters at Disney and uh, we got to look around a little bit. They showed us around, which was really cool to see, you know, a little bit of stuff they have in the works, the little bit they were able to show us. Um, it almost feels like going to Area 51 or something. Yes. Like, I know I'm not supposed to be seeing this and it doesn't technically exist yet, but ooh. Yeah. So, I mean, they just sat us down and, you know, kind of went over the really basic framework of the film and just kind of what the mood and vibe was and like and like Dan said it was very much just like an open thing is like there, w there wasn't any it didn't feel constrictive it didn't feel like they were trying to make us write a song a certain way which is so fun for us because it gives us ultimate freedom which we don't always get and so um, it, yeah it was awesome. I think there's something about Ralph's character that all four of us relate to on a very deep level of kind of feeling like you know Maybe you weren't fitting in exactly and you had good intentions, but you're kind of a bull in a china shop and all your good intentions turn to ash in your hands.